Hey guys, it's me Justin here and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be on my custom Ray from Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. I took a lot of time and effort into making this figure and just perfecting her. It took way longer than I wanted to. I wanted to get this figure done back when the movie premiered, but it's May now and I finally, I finished her back in April. Um, you know, under recording now that I got some new equipment in and I'm just excited to show you guys. Uh, this, as well as some other figures I'll be uh, uploading here. I'm doing uh, single figure showcases for a little bit here just because I don't have any duos. I wanted to have her and Kylo, but I'd never finished, I never made Kylo. I started um, something I wanted, I started something for Kylo basically, but I never really got around to working on him. So for now, it'll be um, some single mini figure showcases, but hope you guys don't mind that too much. Uh, yeah, so just before I get on into the close up of the figure, I want to. Uh, just give a huge shout out to my friend Hector, he's the Wolfpack Customs here on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, he made the great lightsaber that you guys see in front of you, it's um, way better than I, what I would have had. And in fact, I was originally planning on just giving him a Skywalker family lightsaber, but uh, big thanks to him for hooking me up with one of his custom made raised lightsabers. If you guys want to get one for yourself, definitely go check out his Instagram. Uh, I know he was selling them for May the 4th, I'm not sure if he'll be restocking them anytime soon, but I know he plans on doing that, so definitely go check out his Instagram page and his YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's get around right into the showcase, uh, the close-up, rather, for the figure. All right, so starting off with the Ray's accessories, first we have her quarter staff. Um, I would have this on this way in the figure, but sadly, I don't have enough space on the figure to attach this. So here's that. Um, it's rather uh, really thin, and I did sculpt a lot of details in there, but it's really Really hard to see. It's better um, to see all the sculpted lines and stuff in there uh, in person. Uh, I'll try to post some better photos on my Instagram for you guys to see. Uh, next, we have the white super made by the Wolfpack Custom. So here's that. Give you guys a quick view all around. Definitely go check out his Instagram if you'd like one of those. And then, uh, lastly, her blaster. This one I got from my Blue Brick Arms. Uh, it's the same exact one I used for my past raise, but. Um, yeah, I, didn't, I just did nothing else to it. All right, so getting on into the figure herself, um, starting with the head, the face is just the normal uh, stock Lego Ray face. Um, then the hair, if I move around to the back here, the hair is a modified Ray uh, hairpiece from The Force Awakens. And what I did, I did similar to what um, Aaron and Ross did, I moved the buns around so that way they're spaced uh, more so how they are in the movie. And I painted that whole piece up in a dark brown color. And then for the torso, uh, I took a curved torso from Aerialite and then uh, sanded that down a bit more, added um, all the paint you guys see in the front and the back. And then the 3D elements over top, painted those up and yeah, um, for the arms, uh, I started with just plain uh, just skin tone arms, went ahead and added all the e-tape straps for wristbands there, and then I added uh, the brown um, gauntlet wristband thing that she has on her left arm. Alright, and going over the legs in the figure here, um, I started with plain flush legs, paint up the boots as you guys can see there, along with the top of the pants, or the bottom of the pants rather, and I added a strap for the gun holster, add the gun holster under that. And yeah, uh, we weathered everything too. That's mostly it for Ray. It's just a lot of E-tape, uh, fabric pieces here and there. And then, uh, yeah, I'll give you guys one last look at the figure, one quick th uh, 360. All right, just one last 360 before we move on to the end of the video. All right, and that concludes the showcase for Ray here. Uh, this figure is one of the best I've made today. Uh, I definitely, I, was, I got frustrated towards the end working with the uh, white paint and uh, just the white tan there, but in the end, I'm very satisfied with what I ended up making. And again, huge shout out to my friend Hector um, for his contribution to this. And yeah, um, let me know down below what you guys think on this figure. I think it's my best Ray of the four different outfits I've made for her. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys thought on, of uh, Rise of Skywalker as well. I know it's a controversial film, but I personally did enjoy it. I saw it twice opening night and just, I loved it. 
but um, not everyone does, and that's okay. Uh, just you know, be civilized down below. And um, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on what future content, future figures you want me to make, definitely leave that um, in the comments there. And if you guys would like to see maybe some more behind the scenes, I can definitely work that out. Um, be sure to check out my Instagram though. I'm always posting whips, uh, for whether it's building or uh, mostly recently it's been customs, but yeah. Anyway, uh, that concludes my showcase for Ray. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. And if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, uh, comment down below. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe uh, to my channel to you know catch future content like customs and mocks. And uh, we do weekly live streams too. So definitely tune in um, to those on Thursday. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.